you talk about democracy on the one hand. On the other hand, you have a Bumiputra policy, a policy that favors people of the land, the ethnic Malays. Is there a contradiction in that? Well, let us uh, be clear on the fundamentals. The country has to uh, propel its economy. And to do that, it has to be uh, attractive as a foreign direct, uh, for, for foreign direct investments. Uh, economic policies must be transparent. We acknowledge that. The new economic policy is now rather obsolete because it was uh, envisaged at a particular time where the Malays, the, the, the majority um, in Malaysia, were uh, generally deprived of uh, economic opportunities. But things have changed. The understanding of Malaysia has changed. And I have called for the dismantling of the new economic policy since 2007 because I want the economy to be more vibrant, uh, Malaysia must be competitive. We have the resources, the capacity to, to grow as a vibrant economy. But I'm very strong on the issue of affirmative action. So ultimately, the Malays or the poor, Chinese, Malays, majority of the Malays, Chinese in the squatter, urban squatters or the Indians in the estates will not lose because a country that opts purely for growth and prosperity, ignoring the plight of the poor and the marginalized, will not succeed. And, the, and, and democracy will not work if we do not show enough empathy and concern. So having said that, do you envision a day when the Bumiputra policy is no longer in place in Malaysia? Well, it is now shifting to a large extent because we talk about affirmative action based on needs than based on race. And uh, it, would have, it certainly would take time for the Malays to accept that, because for the last 40 years, they've been indoctrinated with this clear policy to survive means a new economic policy in favor of your race. Now we say that to survive means the economy has to grow, investments has to come in, we have to make all necessary measures, changes in policies to attract the investments, but at the same time, we will not forget the poor and the marginalized.